Hey, welcome folks. Thank you for joining me. What I want to do is very quickly here. Actually, this is this is a clip, a quick clip in two parts. Just a few a few thoughts about wedging clay or kneading clay, I should say. And then I want to just touch on centering. Okay, so here's a a lump of clay. Don't have your clay too stiff. Okay. You want to bend, bend your, bend your left leg. Keep your arms straight. Okay. So this is spiral kneading. So as I'm actually doing the thrusting, and it's really the right hand that's doing the thrusting, and the left hand is is cupping it here because this is a bit like a, an axle that goes through here because this is just revolving here just to show you that in slow motion there a bit so it's my right hand here that makes these folds you see so basically uh, some tips on how to do this. So, we just just change the position of the camera so you can see my leg. All right. So I've got my left leg in front of my right. All right, and I bend my my knee like you see me doing there. Okay. So as I come forward, I bend that knee. Keep my arms straight. Okay, that's tip number one. Keep your arms straight and bend the left knee. Okay, next, as I am pushing, I'll just move that camera now a little bit more like that. If you can imagine there's a clock face here, uh, we're sort of like thrusting out to 11 o'clock, okay, in that direction. So I push to 11, then, and then, you want to rotate the clay to 12 o'clock and then bring it up, okay? And that's the thing, you want to bring it up. So you want to establish a kind of rolling like this, all right? 11, 12, up, 11, 12, up, 11, 12, up. Make sure you bring it up, all right? Because he's going to pivot here on, on his, on his rear end, okay? 11, 12 up, 11, 12 up, 11, 12 up, 11, 12 up, 11, 12 up. Now you want to do this about 100 times. You won't get this the first time you do it, all right? You're going to need to do it half a dozen times and you'll begin to get the, the rhythm. 11, 12 up, 11, 12 up, 11, 12 up, 11, 12 up. 11, 12 up. Okay, and you want to do that about 100 times. And then, at the end of the, when you've done it 100 times, I'm not going to do it 100 times right now because I want to move on from this. But what you want to do is, oh yeah, and here's another, another, another tip. Don't let this bit that you've got your hold of here in your hands get too big, okay? You want to keep it like that, you see? That amount of clay there that you see there. That's about what you what you should have. Let the the rest of the clay let the rest of the clay here in front of you with the pattern here and this that you're wedging kneading up front there. Okay, keep it like that. Don't let it don't let it sort of come all around the side here. Or the other way like that you want to keep it like that okay just practice those things okay let's just now I'm gonna let now I'm gonna let this bit get bigger and wind up the whole lump into a cone 
but I actually just wind it up like that. So we'll end up with a with a cone. Alright, there it is. Okay, so I'm just gonna just gonna weigh up a couple of couple of lumps. Uh, I've got to put that back to ounces. Like 12 ounces. 12 ounces is a good weight to to do your practicing. Alright. Okay, that'll do. A couple of lumps. So let's go over to the wheel. Put my hat on. Take my tea. Let's get over here to the wheel. Now. Boom, boom, boom. Let's sort of have that kind of as we did yesterday, a little bit. A little bit over my shoulder like that. All right. This is basic stuff right now in this clip because people need, we need to get the basics right now. All right. Now what I want to talk about is, I hope I can convey and help and help with this short demonstration. Um, oh yeah, in the picture there. Yeah. Okay, let's let's just bring it in a touch. What I want to what I want to talk about is is centering the clay. See, a lot of people's problems with their thro throwing originate from the fact that they 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 don't get their clay properly centered when they break in, or they get it centered, but when they break in and then start to open out, it go it goes off center again. So I just want to just show you briefly. So basically, see a lot of people I notice have got their leading hand. If my way of thinking is if you are right-handed, then you want to use your right hand as your leading hand. Okay? And if you are left-handed, <laughs> you want to use your right hand as your leading hand. That's because the wheel is going around anti-clockwise and you really want the clay going through through your fingers like this not coming into your fingers you see if I'm using my left hand you see what's happening the clay is coming into my fingers so I think it's better to have it like this so it's it's going through my fingers that in that direction okay so that's really the same if you're left-handed or right-handed but if you're right-handed definitely so make your right hand your leading hand because that's probably going to be your the stronger of your two hands okay and okay so then once you've got it attached to the wheel just 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 begin to cone it up and I do that by squeezing here with these parts of my hand at the at the base there and you and you use that to and then lift up like that, you see, and you'll get a, a conical form. Now, if you can do that, that you're halfway there now to getting it centered, okay? Then take, take your left hand, put it there on the point, right there, okay? Put your right hand there, okay? And now push that, just push that down, okay? Like that. Now, when I do that, it's, it's basically centered. Right at the very, the very foot of the lump of clay there as it joins the wheel head, just put your thumb like that there just to, just to true it up right there at the root of the pot where the clay joins the wheel head, okay? And then, now let's just imagine he's gone off. He's off center. I've got to bring him into center. Here's a little trick that I do, okay? Hold the clay, all right? Bring your other hand to, into bear like that and pull towards you. Just pull towards you. I don't mean just <clears throat> pull it like that. I don't mean like that. I mean restrain the clay towards you, okay? Just with a little, little downward pressure, but pull the clay towards you like that. Hold it a second, 
and release your hand slowly. See, a lot of people's problems, they're, they're fighting with the clay, they're, they're pulling and pulling and pushing and, you know, and then, they're, and then, they're, and then they're, they're taking their hands off too quickly. And look what happens. When you get it on center, you take your hands off quickly and see how it's gone off center again. So, apply, apply, wrap your hand around the lump, pull towards you, use your other hand, support that hand. Pull, apply a little downward pressure, pull, hold, release slowly. And there he is. He's perfectly centered. Okay. That's it, folks. Let's just, maybe we'll just bring it, let's just bring it in a little bit. I just want to do it, do that again, just with it a little bit closer. Maybe not necessary to do it, but I'm going to do it anyway. Okay, so, apply your right hand, okay, a little down, a little downward pressure, restrained by pulling very, very, a very little bit towards you. Use your other hand, pull like that, hold, and release the clay slowly. There he is, he's off center. Apply that hand, begin to pull towards you, apply the other hand, pull, hold, release slowly. Okay? Now, if you're not sure if he's on center, off center or not, hold a stationary object like that up close to it and you'll soon see if he's running true or not. All right, that's it. Bob's your uncle. Nothing more to say. Okay, folks. Um, pull this back. It's warm today. Hope that was, I hope that was of some, some help to you. Um, yeah, if you've got any comments, put them down below. Um, taking orders for leech wheels, leech treadle wheels. Gonna keep on reminding you. <laughs> yes, thank you for those people as well that made uh, some comments about that thought I had about Patreon and all that. So yeah, we might do that. And um, yeah, above all, keep practicing. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, bye-bye, bye-bye.